they, they hate religion or they love religion. Either they think that God betrayed them and God killed my entire family, or they think that God saved them. And somewhere in between might be the truth, you know, because, I mean, you know. But there is a trait. They did a, 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 somebody did a, a study for a psychology, their PhD, about what, what it took for people to survive. I mean, obviously, there's not one formula. But the people that survived were toughest than the rest of the people. Because, A, you know, when you, when you got to your barrack, the person is absolutely lost because after a couple of days in a train with no food, no water, they get to a room, and there's all those people that have been there like for a while, they look almost dead, they just look like bones. And this person starts, where's my family? Where's my mother? Where's my child? Where's my... And they just look at you like, you know, you're an idiot. And then they're tired, they, they, you start screaming and yelling, and they say, you know the puff coming from there? That's your family. Now go to sleep because tomorrow you have four hours because if you want to have a cold coffee in the morning. And uh, that, that's what their story. And they need to be able to work around the other people because the day you're not feeling that well, somebody needs to be in front of you, otherwise you're going to get shot. You're not able to do what you do or if you have a cold or if you have a flu or if you, you know, if, if, if your head is, 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 is itching because you have lice, you, you can get shot. You know, and so that's uh, you know it's it, it's very it, it's a subhuman condition that that people go through, and it's very interesting because I think it has to do with the development of the Jewish people. It's because um, do you know in the Torah how many times it's written that you should love your family? Anyone? All the ones? No? How many times do you think? I mean, anyone? Come on, eh? Anyone here is bound to be a fundamental, well, being, being a fundamentalist Christian and know the Bible, right? It's <laughs> in the Ten Commandments. It's kind of in the Ten Commandments. Oh. Honor huh? my father and my mother. But that's not love. Honor doesn't mean anything. No, I mean, I, I mean, know. It's like love your neighbor. Yeah, that's not. No, I mean, do you honor the president? Don't ask that. I mean, you have, I mean, but this is interesting. I mean, when you go to a press conference and the president is, people stand up, no matter right. if they agree you or not. The they honor the president. Doesn't mean they like the president. Most of the time, even if it's from their party, they don't like the president because <laughs> after, after a while, you know, they're all politicians. You honor as a human. And in his position. Okay, but so honor doesn't mean that you love. Right. Okay, so should you, where in the Torah says that you should love your family? It doesn't say anywhere. So. Yeah. Okay, what about your children? How often does it say you should love your children in the Torah? It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that either, does it? See, you're from Texas. You should know. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it says well, raise them up and train them up. But it doesn't say love them, does it? Nowhere. No. You know what the Torah tells you to, to love? Love your neighbor. <gasps> yeah, but the, the neighbor... That's really your fellow Jew, no? Is the str no, it's no? the gear. It's the stranger among the stranger. you. The people, the, the people that joined the Jewish people and eventually they convert and became Jewish. Okay. Which means the Torah doesn't tell you to love your family. The Torah doesn't tell you to love your children. The Torah, the Torah doesn't say that you should love the person that, that you marry. The Torah just tells you to love God and to love as people... The, the people converting to Judaism. You know how many times the Torah says you should love the people, com the converts, or you should not oppress the converts oh. among you? Oh, how many times? Yeah. 36 times it says that you should not oppress the convert among you, or that you should love the, the strangers among you. It says you've been a slave in the land of Egypt. But that's the point. I mean, if it says you've been a slave in the land of Egypt, why do you need to say 36 times? Don't you think that people are slaves, they understand what it is to be oppressed? Anyone? Don't you think like if you're a slave, you know what to well, be yeah, oppressed is? I, need, I, I tell you oppressed, you understand what it is? Or I need to tell you? Yeah, yeah or not? But it's not. I you know why. Because there is a, a psychological phenomenon called the 
arrest development. Arrest development is, is Freud, Freud explained. This is a phenomenon that, that explains like this. For example, when you find a serial killer, what is the first thing that we try to... <laughs> not look at, okay, I'll look at somebody else. Okay, okay, okay. When we find a serial killer, <laughs> what is the first thing we, 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 his attorney does to, to try to, to ameliorate his situation? See what type of childhood he or she had? Very good. Yeah, like what Casey person, Anthony. You know, they say, oh, she was abused, he was abused. Yeah, you're see. never going to find anyone that you're going to find that committed a, a horrendous crime that if they dig inside of their, their childhood, they were not physically sexual or abandoned. They're either physically abused, sexually abused, or abandoned. Those, those are most of the things that cause this phenomenon called arrest development, which means... Um, Feeling for others is the last thing that came in our evolution. Hmm. You understand? Because, because you, you, you don't see an animal having compassion for another animal. Yeah? They have instinct. We, we have evolved to a certain point that we can feel for people that we don't have any other reason to feel and be able to, 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 to even take care of them even goes against every single rule of, of the universe. Because the rule of the universe is that is the person that fell in this week, you go there and you eat them. That's how usually it works in the rest of the universe. But because, because we were different, because we, when we were created, we have acquired some of God's qualities, we receive with the, with, with the desire to give. That's how, that's how we'll find our, our, our own happiness. And, uh, and so s some people many people actually in our society one among 24 people have this arrest development according to, to the studies from right? birth or not from birth no, it's like it's like if you're growing up something bad happens to you the way you relate to this feeling like if the father that's supposed to protect harmed you yeah, yeah, yeah. you still looking you still understand that as love you just will develop your concept of what love is different than the rest of the planet Right. And, 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 and love will not be something that you probably even feel, you don't even understand because you, you, you have not developed that side of you. So you said 5% Rabbi? Uh, one among 24. Mm -hmm. It's because they do not respond to feelings, because they do not feel the feelings that other people feel. They sometimes they try to emulate, they try to show, they try, but they, they are not, they're unable to do it. They're unable to do it. That's why it needs some kind of counseling or therapy for them to try to develop the feeling, but it will always will be a handicap. They will never understand what a warrant or love or they will never understand. It's, it's something that for them is very cold and they very can shut up people very easily. Mm -hmm. And um, and they're always feeling that they will wrong them. But it's all a, a, a psychological phenomenon. I guess probably said it as a psychology, right? I mean, it's a psychological phenomenon. And unfortunately, the, the Jewish people as a people feels like that. You know, because the world, you know, because the world treated for 2,000 years Jews in this certain way. And now, when people come to us, we're abusive to them. And that happens very often. I mean, how many times I, I heard that. But that's not Judaism. There's no basis in Judaism for that. 